I'd like to work on the left side elevation here, but it's a little bit awkward to work with it at an angle like this. So I want to hold to my orthographic projection layout. So I'll take advantage of being able to rotate and translate the user coordinate system in AutoCAD. Let me show you how that's done. Down at the command line, I want to type in UCS follow. Press enter. And I want to set it to 1 to turn it on. It's either 1 or 0. Press enter. Now, I want to rotate the u user coordinate system. So I'll type in UCS. And I want to rotate the coordinate system around the Z axis. So I'll type in Z, press enter, and then rotate it minus 90 degrees. Notice that the layout followed along with the rotation of the user coordinate system. Now I can work with the left elevation a little bit easier because I'm looking straight at it. What I want to do from here is draw in the roof. So just like I did over here in the um, uh, front view, I will start with a line from the corner here and I want the roof to be the same pitch. So I'm going to go at 12 feet comma 4 feet. That creates a 4 and 12 roof line. I'll offset thickness of a 2 by 4 this side and then the plywood. Next, I want the eave to be out here 24 inches, so offset 24, and then extend these lines out there. have one side of the roof. Now I'd like to project that over to the other side, mirror it over. So if I start the mirror command, select these objects, press enter, um, my object snaps. So what I'd like to do is try to reference the center of this wall here. S but I don't have a good line here. Let's see, I can locate the midpoint of this. Is that the midpoint from here to here or from here to here? Well, if I'm not sure, I don't want to make an error at this point, so I'm going to press escape and I'll draw a line from here to here and I can find the center of that line. So I'm going to mirror here from the center. Ortho's on, so I can just click right on up here press enter. I'm done with that line, so I'm going to make sure that I delete it. And now I can either extend or fillet these lines together. I'll use the fillet command. Make sure that the radius is set to zero. I'll extend those two lines. Press enter again to continue that command. That line and that line. And finally this line this line. Now I have the roof line for the roof extending across the building this way. The garage is the roof line going this way. So to locate the ridge line of the roof that goes over the garage into this view, I'll use my orthographic projection. So what I want to do is measure the distance from the fold line to the ridge in this view and that will be the distance from this fold line to the ridge in this view. Let me show you how that's done. I'm going to offset a distance from, make sure I get the right endpoint, there, to 
perpendicular there. Select this fold line to offset to that side. Press enter. This represents now the ridge line of the roof that extends over the garage. I would like to, that roof to extend past the front of the garage, 14 inches. So I'm going to offset 14, press enter, offset that wall to this side, and then I can extend this line here. Oops, I want the extend command. Now, to show the overhang, the eave, they should be the same distance. So, I can just draw a line from bottom of this eave, perpendicular to that line. Same here. I can just project these lines right on over. And finally, that line, perpendicular, center. Now I'm ready to trim, so I'll trim the front of the garage, and I would like to trim the ridge line. So trim that back, trim this, trim that. Center to end of the command, and now all that's left is to show the ridge in this view.